as local, state, and federal government officials grapple with ways to treat and contain the coronavirus pandemic, some of the best policy responses are coming not from imposing new regulations, but from scrapping old ones. CEI experts are leading in the fight against never-needed regulations. One of the things that we saw happen in the last four months is public officials, left and right, were tearing up the regulatory code. They were looking around and finding all of these barriers to an immediate and practical response to the coronavirus. So we had suspensions, we had temporary uh, regulatory relief, we had things repealed. And through that, we identified that much of this regulatory work was never needed. So we focused on getting that out of the way repealing the regulations that are standing in the way to an effective response, whether that means uh, public health and the delivery of health services, medical services, or transportation. We have to change and adapt the regulatory code on a forward-looking basis. In the midst of a coronavirus pandemic, there are three steps to be taken for regulatory reform. A regulatory reduction commission would break the political impasse that has dominated Capitol Hill. It provides an opportunity to look only at regulation and not have every extraneous issue brought in. Prune the current code. It's 100 years of growth. No one's looked closely. A thorough and consistent look at the regulatory code is an opportunity to clean out the rest of what stands in our way for a healthy, strong, 21st century American economy. And then going forward, set some limits like an automatic sunset for any new regulation that requires review. That doesn't mean that if we've found good reason to keep the regulation, that we no longer can have it. It simply asks the appropriate agency to look at new evidence and see if it's still appropriate as it's constructed. This work isn't new for CEI. It's part of our bread and butter and the reason we're part of the policy process. But amidst the global pandemic, and tremendous economic shocks, our work matters now more than ever.